we're about to customize these three pair of shoes in three different ways. Let's go. What's up, you guys? So we're going to be working on these Van slip-ons. These Van slip-ons, I'm going to be actually applying a fabric, like a flower patch fabric that I got from Amazon. Look, the links in the description will be down below, all right? This is something different, you guys. So I'm actually doing is cutting up the fabric because these pieces are a little too big so I have to cut them up and then what I have to do is I have to take the Angelus shoe clear cement like you saw earlier and I'm applying it on the patch and then I'm applying it on the shoes yes this clear shoe cement is very 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 good honestly it's the best shoe cement out there honestly because you can use this for fabric you can use this for like putting missiles back together you can use these for restoration projects this Angelus shoe clear cement is great adding patches to shoes has been really out for like a minute i just wanted to add patches to like some vans i always saw like air forces but to add them to some slip on vans i thought that would be really 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 cool i'm actually doing these shoes for a fashion show you guys my first ever fashion show too so i'm super excited i have to make sure these all these shoes came out looking great but these are coming out really good if you're doing this at home make sure to take your time and just make sure that you're doing everything on point putting this last patch on here and now y'all about to see the final result Okay, so the second shoes is we're about to do some Jordan 1 lows. I haven't done Jordan 1 lows in forever, you guys. And guess what else I'm doing to these? I'm actually hydro dipping them. It's only right if I was to hydro dip a pair for the fashion show. So first step is we got to take the laces out. The second step is we got to acetone the whole shoe. Okay, so after we had taped up the shoe, I got my spray paints out. I got my color greens here. This is actually like a Rick and Morty type of vibe. But this is the thing. I promise it was not planned to be like a Rick and Morty type custom. But I think it, this is going to actually be it one for the fashion show. Okay, so basically now I'm about to actually dip the shoe in there. I'm about to find like a cool pattern within this bucket. And basically what you want to do is take your time. And basically you want to just push down the shoe slowly, okay? I haven't done this in a while, so I started to do a little fast. But I had to remind myself, look, Xavier, push down the shoe slow and then bring it back up all right so now basically what we're doing is that actually looks sick to the left look at that okay so we're just going to be doing the same thing we did to the first shoe to the second shoe we're going to spray our paints in here we're going to make sure the pattern all comes together and then we're going to actually dip it i'm going to actually speed up this process a little bit because i know this could take a little minute Okay, so now we got that all done. Now we're about to dip the second shoe. And basically, one thing I did not do correctly on this, I did not really tape up the bottom as much as I would want to, but it's okay. So I dipped the shoe in there, then I realized, oh snap, I did not tape up the bottom like that. So I had to make sure to take the paint off the bottom. All oh, it is easy. Just do it with acetone and be straight. All right, but that came out looking pretty sick. So now the final results. <laughs> Okay, so y'all already know, if I'm doing a fashion show with custom shoes, y'all already know I had to do a pair of Air Force Ones. So the third shoe we're doing is a pair of custom Air Force Ones. I'm taking the shoelaces out. Take them bad boys up out of there. That's the very first thing you gotta do. The next step is we got to acetone the leather. You guys, we have that is the most crucial part, part in custom my shoes, taking the factory finish off, all right? And for this, I'm thinking about bringing back like an old technique of customizing, which is going to be a splatter effect, okay? So I'm actually doing a splatter effect with a toothbrush. I'm actually starting off with some greens. I'm actually going to do both shoes. The smart thing to do this is actually just get two pairs of shoes out the way. Don't do one and then come back to it. You might as well just do two, all right? So with the splatter effect, a lot of people got different techniques. I've seen a knife. I've seen a toothbrush. I've seen the people flicking with their fingers. Honestly, I think the toothbrush is the most easiest and the most effective way to do the splatter. Um, it doesn't take, it can get a little messy, but it doesn't take really like a long time to do. And you can do the splatter effect on shoes, clothes, jeans, all that good stuff, hats, all that stuff, right? If you're doing this at home, make sure to lay down some newspaper, some trash bags. You see, I got the shoe in a box and it's a big box, right? Because let me tell y'all, one time I was doing a splatter effect, I destroyed my room. <laughs> I'm, I kid you not that it was paint everywhere. So I'm more cautious. I got the gloves on. I got the box. I got the the um, the trash bags all around. You just can't see that. But um, look, listen to me, parents. If you're watching the videos, I know I got parents watching the video. If your kids are doing splatter. Make sure they're covered up the whole room. I do not want them to get in trouble. All right. So after the green, we're going with the orange. And then I'm thinking about adding a blue to this as well. It's gonna pop, trust me. That's the thing when you're doing splatter, you just gotta have multiple different colors doing different things, right? Then when I think about taking a tape off, I think about adding another color on top of that as well. You know, parts uh, that I masked off.
The next color I'm actually gonna be using is blue. I think the blue will really tie this whole splatter effect together. And without the blue, I think it just would look a little plain. So I wanted to add a third color into the mix. And after this, when we take the tape off, I'm going to add another color like on the swoosh and then probably on the back and then maybe on the toe. Just to give the custom a little bit more pop I mean, I'm super excited about how these all shoes are all coming out. They're all coming out different, and that's what my idea was for the fashion show, for all the shoes to be different, especially the ones that the models are going to be wearing. The cool thing I like about the splatter effect shoes, by the way, is that it's super easy to do. So you guys, it's something I've been wanting to tell y'all for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I've been contemplating on even saying this for a while. And this is why I wanted to add this part. And hopefully all the people that are still watching the video are still watching the video. You know what I'm saying? I know I just kind of said that twice. This is the thing. This is very going to be unraw. I said unraw. This is going to be like raw and like no cuts, no edits, no nothing with this part. Okay. So honestly, all right. This is the thing that I've been contemplating a lot about. It's honestly about changing the channel up, all right? And I know some people, it's kind of going to be disheartening because a lot of people enjoy the, some of the things I do as far as the custom, some of the art. But you guys, to be honest with you, like I'm at a point where I just don't have the same passion that I once had, you know? And... It's just, it comes a time in, you know, everybody's life when you had a passion for something and you move on to something else, you know. Um, just growing up as a child, I'll keep that short and brief. Like, it was basketball, and then after basketball, then it was, you know, art and YouTube, right? And my thing is, like, one of my passions, like, I feel like, honestly, I'm doing a disservice to myself and to you all because it's so much more inside of me that I want to show y'all, you know? I feel like I'm very passionate in entrepreneurship, AI. If you don't know, I'm a software engineer, right? I went to school to learn like tech. I'm in tech, right? So I have a thing for AI. I mean, I like like technology. I like entrepreneurship. I've tried so many different businesses. I mean, Amazon FBA, day trading, uh, Airbnb. I've done a lot of stuff outside of YouTube with entrepreneurship. And I, I love that. Like that excites me a lot. And just the art. They're doing art. I mean, to be honest, you guys, y'all already know. But but just just do this. Do me a favor, right? Pause the video and then go look. Or not even pause it. Wait to the end. Go look at, like, the customizing type of videos and the type of, like, views and stuff. It's just quite not there anymore. And I think that it was very trendy at one part of time. But now it's just not trending anymore like that, you know? Um, cause I remember it used to be a lot of us. If, if you, if you are customizing shoe, if you know about customized shoes on YouTube, right? You know, it was a lot more than just me and Marco and Day, uh, Jesus and ZH. It was like a whole bunch of us, but a whole lot of them kind of like disappeared. Like my boy, Jordan Vinson. Um, it's another guy, Chris Custom Kicks. Um, it's another guy, Alex. I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. But he's from like, um, he's from like Britain or something. He's a cool dude. He did hydro dipping, if you know. Okay, so, um, yeah, I just feel like, personally me, like, I'm a religious man. And, and just, I really feel like we only get one life, one shot, one thing. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like if you're not waking up and doing what you love to do every single day, you're doing a disservice to yourself, right? You're doing a disservice to yourself. And I just feel like customizing shoes is great, but it's so much more I have within me that I know that I can show you all, you know? So I think this is, this is the talk that I wanted to have with you guys because eventually... Not even really eventually, but soon I'm, I'm going to start, you know, venturing out on different things. You know, um, I do have a couple more custom shoe videos planned out. But if you start to see the channel change and hopefully you will stay, I will want you guys to stay. But I'm just trying to move into a more different avenue. And plus, I'm getting older, too, as well. If you don't know, I am 27, about to be 28. And um, 
I just think it's so much more out there for me to do, you know? I mean, you could do vlogs, you could do reactions. I even asked a couple, you know what? I even asked a couple of my supporters, like, what should I do? And they was just like, I mean, you got to follow your heart, Xavier, you know what I'm saying? And then it's just, it, it ain't just the numbers. Um, it's just more into it. Like, you know, it's just, it's, it's like a trend that's dying. And um, I want to be the best YouTuber I can be, you know what I'm saying? I have so many ideas. And I just feel like I'm so, like, tied down to this customized and shoe niche that, that it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't even feel like I'm having fun anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like I once, like I once was having fun. You know, I kind of have to force myself to make videos and to do this and to do that. And you guys, it's just one of those crazy things where you just have to follow your heart. You got to follow your heart and just be true to who you are at all times. You, you know what I'm saying? Like. Some people are not going to like, you know, what you do in this life as far as. But let me tell you, if you're making yourself happy, that's all that matters, you know. And, um, yeah, I, I was contemplating on t telling you all this for a minute, you know, that I'm just not that much into customizing shoes. But, you know, I love YouTube. I love you guys. I love all the people that still support the channel. You know, I just feel like it's much more in me that I want to show you out show you all right and i know i kind of messed up a couple times but you know i just wanted to keep this very 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 like unscripted raw no edits with it just to talk to you guys because i really appreciate every single person that subscribed to the channel that was watching video everything you know so um i love you all um you'll start seeing a little bit of changes here and there but at the end of the day, if you're rocking with me, I appreciate it. If you help me get to this point in my YouTube career, I appreciate it even more. You know, y'all just don't understand the support, the love I've gotten over the years. It's crazy. I would have never even thought we were almost about to hit 500,000 subscribers, you know? So it's amazing. I love every single one of y'all. And I, I just can't keep saying without saying this. Thank you so, so much, you know? Thank you.